Ladies and gentlemen, officially, um, His Excellency the Vice President of the Republic of Cuba and His Excellency the President of Zanzibar from Tanzania, officially they will open the Chancery of the Tanzanian Embassy. Since the establishment of our diplomatic relations in 1962, Tanzania and Cuba have been working closely in various sectors such as health, education, agriculture, tourism, and trade. Our cooperation in these sectors have had a huge impact in the socio-economic development of our two countries. With the opening of this embassy, we aim to facilitate increased trade and investment opportunities between our nations. We recognize the untapped potential that exists in various sectors such as tourism, agriculture, healthcare, culture and sports, biotechnology, trade and investment. By promoting economic cooperation, we can create jobs, stimulate growth, and improve the standard of living for both Cubans and our own citizens. Going forward, and as it had been a custom as part of strengthening the bilateral relations and cooperation, we will continue to promote continued exchange of visits between high-level leaders from the two countries. These visits have continued to consolidate and maintain the historic friendship and bilateral cooperation. Kataba wa kwanza ambao tutausain ni ushirikiano wa elimu ya juu hapa Cuba na elimu ya juu ya Tanzania. El primero de estos documentos que vamos a firmar Mkataba wa pili utakuwa ni ushirikiano kati ya chuo kikuu cha Havana na chuo kikuu cha Dar es Salaam Tanzania. El segundo acuerdo que firmaremos es un acuerdo de colaboración entre la Universidad de La Habana y la Universidad de Dar es Salaam en Tanzania. Nuevo fuerte aplauso. Cuba estuvo entre los primeros países. Cuba was among the first countries to establish relations with the Republic of Tanzania in 1962. And the first country in this hemisphere to do so with the Zanzibar Revolution that has just triumphed in 1964. Ever since, the two nations have developed historic bonds of sisterhood, solidarity, and mutual support. The embassy started its operation in April 2019, but due to some reasons, one being the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic, we were unable to have its official opening. This event marks a significant milestone in the history of diplomatic relations between our two nations. It is a step towards fostering mutual understanding and cooperation. It is indeed a great honor for us that your excellencies have found time and honored our invitation to come, join us and witness this historic moment in Tanzania and Cuba diplomatic relations. I therefore bring with me fraternal greetings from Her Excellency Dr. Samia Suluhu Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, to the government and the people of the Republic of Cuba and everyone present here today. The United Republic of Tanzania and the Republic of Cuba have over the years enjoyed high level of political and diplomatic relations at bilateral, regional, and multilateral levels. These relations are based on strong foundation that we built, developed, and nurtured by the close and personal relationships between our father of the nation, the late Malim Julius Kambara Genyerere, and Commander-in-Chief of the Cuban Revolution, Fidel Castro Ruz. We give respect and pay tribute to these two leaders for laying firm foundation of friendship and brotherhood which have been maintained by the subsequent national leaders of Tanzania and Cuba. Solidarity between our two countries have remained strong throughout history. 
this momentous occasion therefore signifies our quest to continue strengthening the diplomatic ties between our two nations and serve as a testament to the enduring friendship and cooperation that exists between us.